So here I am. Uh, I'm watching. This is to add to the conversation. Um, put a little, um, put a little, uh, make a little film. This is a film for Scoutcrafter. Um, when he was walking around, I saw this. I spotted it. I, I, I thought, oh, I wish I would. if I was there, I would have bought it. <laughs> well, anyway, further on, he, he makes a film at half past seven every uh, Monday, every uh, Wednesday, and every Friday. And look, he bought the, um, the set it's back. A, uh, a die set, you know, for threading pipe. And it, it's in mint condition. <laughs> so, so I know you're going to clean that up and make it look nice. So this is my uh, request, explanation, add into the conversation, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to say. Now, I've got two of a similar... Not the same, but similar, you know, similar sort of animals, same sort of things. So there's this one here. Is it this set? Yeah. I've got a set here. Hang on to it. Wait. Wait sure I don't drop it. There's a set here. Now this is in a box. I'm not sure if it's the original box. Um, but it, it, this obviously, when I picked it up, it's been cleaned, wire brushed, blah, 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 right? Um, this is looks like a what's the blue um, strong arm set. So that that you could do that. Obviously, yours has got the label on it, but you could do that and clean them. And I know you like cleaning them and bringing them up to almost like new. But I've got another set here, which is a, a little giant set. This is a little giant set. Um, from Greenfield, Massachusetts. Yeah. Can you see it now? There we are, look. This is a little giant. That's it. But what the, what the, the bit of the conversation I'm going to add to is, again, I am um, pretty sure this is the original. This is the original box. Okay, there's no label on it. But the part of the reason I don't clean this is because the smell, the, 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 the smell that opens when you, when you open this box, you know, a really old, <coughs> old tool, and, and you open and it's an original box, the, the aroma, the smell of, it, we all know the smell of castellar, don't we? You know, a car goes past getting thrashed, you know if he's put castellar in it. It's that sort of a smell. And then I thought, well, how am I going to explain this smell? Because oil is oil is oil, and there's Duckham's and there's SO, and there's all sorts of oils, isn't there? So I thought, well, how am I going to get over the smell of it? Well, Little Giant, the same. I knew I'd seen it somewhere on the label. Here's a, another little tap die What's it say? Um, set. Again, in its, in its original box. Um... With, with the original label. But I want you to notice this, look. It says use plenty of lard oil. What is lard oil? Do they still make lard oil? So rather than clean your box up, it's, is it a request? Is it a suggestion? Is it a thought? Rather than clean it up with modern, or you, obviously you'll clean it, but rather than cover it in a modern smelling stuff. If anyone can get hold of lard oil, I'm sure Scout Crafter can get hold of lard oil. Hmm. So part of these are of the smell of them. Do you know when you when you get in an old car, an old leather car, it has that smell. It never loses that smell. Well, this box is the same. It's got the same dust and filth that was in it when it was in its workplace when it was being used do you know so i'm only presuming uh it'll be the same this smells of <laughs> lard oil so there's a fantastic smell in the box just the same sort of smell as as in leather cars you know when leather leather cars so 
I'm not sure if it's a request, a, a demand, add to the conversation, I don't know. Uh, and I don't even know if you can get lard oil, and I don't even know what our lard oil is. But the same firm says, use plenty of lard oil. So rather than, obviously you, you clean them, you probably put them in evaporist uh, or vinegar. You might you might decide to put them in evaporist and bring them back, or you might do however you decide to do. Obviously, you'll clean them. But part of it, well, part of it for me, is also the smell. You're seeing history, you're feeling history, and you're also smelling history. Hmm. Yeah, you're using all your senses. You're looking at it, you think it's lovely, that's one sight. You're, you're touching it, aren't you? Uh, feeling it with your hands, that's a third se sense. A second sense you're using. And then the third sense is the smell. Yeah, how do you restore the older tools that are well rusty and, you know, there's no other way only to completely clean them. But then, how do you... How do you how do you restore the smell of it? Because mm, this box is absolutely and, and we know the smell of old, we know the smell of mustiness, we know the we all the all the older smells, but this smells of like, like rifle oil. If you've used ever used rifle oil, there's a distinct smell to it. Smell like leather, so yeah, so that's my um request challenge sort of restore it but also restore the smell of it <laughs>